And guys, what uh, Owen and Ed were doing, they're basically prepping all the surfaces. Um, before you start welding, you want a nice clean surface. And to ensure that, you gotta get rid of like any rust that might be on the metal, any paint, stuff like that. So you get a raw metal to metal contact. And uh, that's pretty much what they're doing. Just cleaning it all up, it's all in the prep. Uh, to make sure if you want good welds, you got to have good prep. Yeah, yeah, it's just right here. It's the, the, their front. And then I'm just gonna do the, oh, that makes my life way easier. <laughs> I thought it was just gonna be a huge box. All right. Ed's got the boxes um, pretty close to uh, the shape we're gonna get. Uh, it's tacked down. And you can see there's like a slight gap, but uh, when, when you go in and weld it, that's pretty much gonna fill that gap, so. Uh, the boxes are pretty much good to go on that. Um, trimmed up. Uh, there was like a metal piece here, basically the dash bolts uh, onto that and uh, trimmed it up. So that way the, the bar for the A-pillar can terminate right there. Did the same thing on the other side. And right now Ed is uh, going over some measurements for the main hoop. And a uh, couple other areas for the plates for the front uh, bar. And we talked about, you know, people jack up the, the car from the floor. You can see. So there's a perfect example right there. See that little circle of like those little, mm -hmm. little jacks. Yeah. We have to bang it down. Oh my. <laughs> <clears throat> and that one goes up there in the front. So, get more progress made. Better over this. And, and uh, that's this plate right here is uh, essentially gonna sit like right over here uh, by the A pillar, and that's where the tube's gonna terminate to. And the reason why you would want to use a plate here versus a box would be uh, basically a little bit more room because the box is going to take up more space and you definitely don't want that around your foot, feet area. So that's kind of where it's going to go and cage again terminates there. This will get welded in. So it's coming along, coming together and hopefully we get to uh, see Ed start bending uh, the main hoop pretty soon. So right now we're just measuring out the width of the entire width of the cage. So because of the nature of the car where it kind of <clears throat> curves inward, uh, we're going to take three different measurements. One at the widest, more narrow, up top.
and this part's pretty vital because uh, it's one main hoop with uh, was it four bends and you have to account for the bends and how much extra material that's gonna take up so it's a lot of calculations on this yeah. and the main hoop is always one of the most complicated portions of the cage as Ed mentioned earlier <laughs> <laughs> 